Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys all doing today? Or if you're new to my channel, welcome and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to stay connected to me. I hope everyone here is enjoying the cold winter. Today I'm starting off my video with a warm cup mixture of green tea and ginseng tea. But just this winter, I've just been really enjoying sipping on some tea. And you know what? I think I'm more of a tea type of person. I wouldn't say I would drink coffee unless it was super sweet. Like if I go to Starbucks, I would probably get like a caramel frappuccino. Um, and then I'll have like an espresso shot in there if I have like crazy errands to run and I need that caffeine in my life then yes for coffee. Otherwise, I don't think I'm a coffee person. Just so you guys know a little bit about me. But this is not what I'm going to be talking about today. So let me just put my cup down. Today, I wanted to share with you guys a review before I start using it. So this is the Fresh um, Sugar Lips Treatment. I actually got this from my Secret Santa for Christmas and have not used it yet. So I'm really excited today to share with you guys if you guys are interested in getting these colors because I know one of these lipstick treatments go for at least $30 at Sephora. The thing about these lips and why I was like, really excited to do this review is they receive a 2017 Best Luxury Lip Balm Award last year. So when I heard about that and I got this for Christmas. I was really excited to try it out. And just a little background about this brand. They actually started off as a soap company and then they eventually branched off and started creating their own lipstick treatment. By the way, this video is not a sponsor video. I just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about this brand and I did a little bit of my research um, prior to filming this video to share with you guys so that you guys are more informative with the products that you guys are buying. Okay guys, let's get started. This is what the little packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen this little package at Sephora. It's kind of cute. Um, I don't know what I would kind of use it for like later on. But, and then you know, the weird thing is I don't even know why they would include, I don't even know why they would include two little crayons here. I mean, I feel like it's, kind of elementary. I don't know. That was pretty interesting. Okay guys, so I'm going to try these lip balms in the order that they are in. So I wanted to just quickly share with you guys the packaging that it comes in. You just twist the lipstick and it opens and there is the lipstick. So with these lip treatments, they do make bigger sizes. These are just the small mini versions. So if you guys do like any of these shades, be sure to check the Sephora website. I'm sure they will have some there or the Fresh website. I will leave all the links down below. I'll also be listing in order all the colors that I will be trying on if you guys are interested in getting the same colors as me. All right, guys. So let's get on with today's tutorial. This is the first shade. It's called Tula. Okay, so my first impression with this color, it's very moisturizing. It smells like citrus, natural tint to your lips. Um, and in a way, I feel like it's very buildable. Really natural, like it doesn't look like you're wearing any lipstick. I would say I would definitely purchase this later in the future when I run out and maybe just buy like the bigger one. So my next shade is called Rosé. I already love the name of this lipstick, but let's have a look. So this one also smells like citrus. Now on my lips. So there's nothing really exciting about this color that's going on. I feel like there is a little bit of a color um, tint, but I don't see anything special about this color. I probably won't buy this color if I do run out. It is still mo moisturizing in that sense. Like I wouldn't say it's bad overall, but I used the other one prior to using this color. I just feel like that one was a bigger wow factor. 
and this one is just not doing it for me unfortunately don't hate me but that's just my honest opinion next pretty sure this is their clear lip balm so i won't be trying this on but the formula is exactly the same as the other ones but there is no tint this is a clear lip balm treatment the next shade i'll be trying on is called poppy I really enjoy this color. It just looks so nice. I just feel like it's giving me life right now because it is the winter time. I feel like I'm more drawn to purple-ish, plummy, and bluish kind of tones. And I would definitely go out and buy this one. This one compared to Tulip is more dark and purpley. And the Tulip is more pinky. So far, these are the two that I would definitely repurchase. Next color is So this color is really nice. It's like a nice nude staple color, brownish like beige natural color. And I know for sure it's going to go well with all my outfits and definitely repurchase this and pretty much use it every day. My last shade is called Berry. Oh my god, guys, I really love this color. It's so freaking nice. Really, really nice. I just like these dark tone colors and definitely would repurchase this. This color, however, compared to Poppy, is more of a deep purple color and Poppy is more of like a deep purple slash pink color. Just gonna have a sip of my tea. Okay guys, so my overall experience with these little lip tints, I would definitely purchase Berry, Tulip, Honey, and Poppy. And for the rest of the colors, and for the colors Rosé and Fresh, I don't really care for them just because they're not tinted. Thank you so much for my secret Santa who got them for me. Alright guys, that concludes my video for today. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below. And if this video helped you or if you liked it at all, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up to show your support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!